Hey everyone, Sir Ant once again. I thought I was done filming for today, but I found a nifty little area that I thought I'd shoot a little video in. It looks kind of neat. I've got a little kitty up looking at me over here. Really, really handsome fellow. But I want to show you this first. <clears throat> this is the recycling and garbage facilities that are provided in every community in China. <clears throat> the blue bin over there obviously is for recycling. The gray bins are just what they call residual waste, kind of mixed trash, and those will be sorted before they're taken anywhere. And then the green bin is for direct food waste. So what we do at home is all the kitchen scraps <clears throat> and direct food waste goes into a one bag, and that will go into the green bin. And then everything else will go into the gray bin, other than bottles and cardboard and things like that, which I'll put into the blue one. It's very organized. And it's, uh, like I said, every single community in the city has this now. Another really interesting feature that I've never seen anywhere other than in China is this. <clears throat> There's this little sink here. So say, for example, your trash bin in your kitchen has got a leak in the bag, right? So you could carry it down the stairs with the, the trash water leaking all over the place, or you could bring the entire trash container down and wash it out before you bring it back up. Or if your hands are dirty, you're doing something outside, you've just come back from a bike ride, for example, and uh, you want to wash your hands, there we go. A little sink with a faucet over the sink and an external faucet so you could fill up a bucket or something else as well. Again, every community has these things that are fantastic, but for now, let's get to the ride. This handsome devil is looking at me. Looks like a t he looks like a lion with that big mane of his and those kind of extra evil slanty looking eyes. Cute though. All right. So <clears throat> I found another little small community with not much in the way of parking, but probably some pretty interesting stuff going on. So let's go ride through here and test my one handed skill once again. This is a much more active community, obviously, as there are people about and a lot more stuff everywhere. But as I pointed out in my last video like this, where's the trash? Where's the garbage, people? You're just not seeing it here. Ni hao. Hello. Hello. Nice people. What he's doing there, he's an older gentleman who does calligraphy. And so he is doing calligraphy for the people who want particular messages written or just want a, an original one as opposed to going and buying one in a store. And then they put the red decorations on the outside of the doors like I did just the other day at my house, just like this right here. But like I tell you, I've said it so many times, if you can speak a little bit of Chinese with the local people, they will really, really be friendly. They were all smiling, very happy. It's like, look, a foreigner who can say Happy New Year and hello in Chinese. I could have, in fact, talked a lot more with them, but we're on a mission. We're on a mission to go find interesting stuff and see if we can get lost in these little communities. Little shop straight ahead here, closed up. Cigarettes, tea, and booze. Oh. Even the uh, little delivery trucks, the little delivery bicycles have the backup warnings on them. Now I've got to be a little more careful here as this does look like we're heading out onto the main street of the community. The Baozi shop here is closed. But the little neighborhood department store is open. People got to eat. Even got a little street vendor out here selling little cakes. Ah, he's a uh, one of the Muslim street vendors selling the little flatbreads, like naan bread. They are delicious, I will say. Here's the main gate to the community. Now this lady's gonna come right in front of me instead of taking the other path, but that's okay. Get in front of the one-handed guy. <laughs> all right, what do we got down here? Here we've got a few little businesses. So it's not all just apartments. Now that one just had a couch in it. I'm gonna say massage little convenience store again another little convenience store right across the street lots of little cars in this area 
So I'm gonna go one street up here. Beer bottles out the wazoo. And these are such a narrow little street, you gotta be real careful driving your car in there. A few too many people park their bicycles after you get there and you're stuck. All right, let's take a look down this one. Again, very narrow. Not really big enough for cars. This is a recycling guy collecting up the people's recycling and he'll pay for it. He will come to your house and he will buy your recycling from you. Now these here are teeny tiny little one room apartments. So these are gonna be dirt cheap. I couldn't even guess how much they'd be, but uh, we're talking in the hundreds, not thousands. And for some people, that's all they want. That's all they need. Even little public bicycles in here. Nice. Let's keep going, see what else we can find in this little community. I don't know the name of this little community, but I like it. This is a tight squeeze for cars. If you're parked in here and you need to get out, good luck. Just like this street over here, you kind of gets wider as it goes along, but uh, my car, the uh, Havel Big Dog, Dago, would have a difficult time, Hun Ma Fan, uh, getting through here just due to the size of the vehicle. Fish tank outside here has water in it. And it does have fish in it too. Cold day for the fishies. Lots and lots of little street vendor trucks here. These little three-wheeled motorcycles. Very cool. Yeah, I can almost with 100% certainty tell you that if I'm not the first Waigwaran that has come driving through this area on his bicycle, um, I'm the first that's been here in a long time. Little community store again. Little chicken restaurant, hamburgers, french fries, that's cool. Was not expecting that there. Probably a lot of delivery orders, but I can't see in this kind of community selling a lot of hamburgers. <laughs> he was shy. He was terrified that the giant white guy was talking to him. That's okay though. Neat. Nifty. All sorts of cool stuff to see. Let's go up this ramp here. So that can find. One handed up the ramp. Oh yeah. Again, no gears on these little bikes. They are all just muscle power. Oh, this is the fancier area where people have little makeshift garages. Ooh, um, gas powered full size street bikes which in these type of uh, places, well, in Shenzhen in general, are pretty much completely illegal. That's why they're covered up and sitting back there instead of out on the street. Uh, so yeah, you can only ride those when nobody's really looking. I could shoot down here and see what's down there, but uh, I don't know. I think it's just gonna lead me right back to the same place I literally just was. And it could be a little bit more narrow than my one-handed dexterity and braking ability <laughs> would... Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. You don't want to go down there. That is stairs, and that's quite a drop. So I think at this point, I'm going to sign off in this little neighborhood. It was really, really cool. I really, really enjoyed this. And uh, yeah. I'm going to put the phone down for a while and see what else I can find.